2021 recap. Man, this year went by fast. Every year is going by faster. Uh, this year was so much fun. We, we started off the year and we were like, all right, we're doubling our office size. We're, we're gonna double our revenue and we need to double our office footprint. We started off with breaking down the wall uh, and expanding our, our footprint here. It seemed like we, our office was sort of always in construction. It was really cool just to see how our team grew this year. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. Our, our staff doubled in size and uh, I couldn't, couldn't be more thankful for the team here. The next thing we did on the year that was super fun was we started our Always On series, which was a YouTube series to engage with our community. We started off with my childhood hero, Mariana Rivera. We flew to New York last January and uh, we partnered with him to tell his story about how he is always on in, in his career. And it was so cool to, to just get to know him and, and learn from him and see how he impacted the game. And for me, I got to play catch with them and that was super fun. Uh, and now he's become a good friend. We call him, we, we sent sh sh shirts to his charities. We've met his, his sons and developed a genuine relationship. And I think through all of the always ons that we've done, whether it was with Devin, uh, Mariano Rivera, Justin Blau, uh, they were, it was, all, it was great for us because we, we just got to build relationships. I think at the end of the day, if someone asked me, what's your favorite thing about cuts over the course of your first five years, 100% the relationships that we've got to build and that we're continuing to build. One of the things we did in the early part of the year that was super fun was we decided we we're gonna do an always on and throw a live concert in the desert with Justin Blau, one of the most up and coming uh, artists and now business people in, uh, in crypto. Uh, and we decided, hey, we're gonna do it with Justin Blau and we're gonna throw this concert on and light up the sky in, this, in the sand dunes outside of Vegas but we were gonna do it ourselves. We weren't gonna hire a production company. So we drove out to Vegas, picked up Blau, and put on this amazing concert uh, and live stream. One of the cool parts was everyone just got their hands dirty from our finance guy to our uh, you know, content people to just interns that were helping us, new employees. My assistant had started a week before and we were like, all right, Matt, you're gonna go out to the sand dunes and you're gonna be the guy holding the videographer as he kind of circles Blau during the live set. And the crazy part about the shoot was, people didn't realize this, but there was like 30 mile an hour winds and like thick, thick sand blowing around. It felt like it was raining sand. And our team just had a great attitude and one of my highlights of my entire time at Cuts. Another big uh, aspect of this year was we were the first four years of our business, we were a, you know, a t-shirt and a sweatshirt business. And this was the year we said we're gonna put a flag on the ground and said, we are gonna be more than that. We're gonna be a lifestyle brand, which we felt was key to becoming a generational brand that can last forever. And we said, all right, we're gonna do bottoms. So we went through a rigorous testing period to come out with our always on, our AO um, joggers. And those have been a smashing success almost overnight, some of our best products of the year. And then our secondary product was outerwear, um, Lisa, who is our head of product. She comes from uh, lots of other big brands. And we said, Lisa, we need outerwear and we need it in 12 months, which for outerwear lead times are often longer than that. And she absolutely killed it. And you know, we went through lots of rounds of samples with Sherpa, uh, with our bomber jacket, with our vest that I'm wearing. And some of those products have now been, are now my favorite products to wear. And, and the, the uh, sell through has been incredible. So thank you guys for buying. Um, and I think w one thing that it taught me was you know, the, the value of bringing on talented people is so important for business. Uh, you know, obviously I never had created outerwear and, you know, just like t-shirts, we kind of had to teach ourselves the ropes when we brought on some senior leadership, they really just came in and provided that operational excellence and, and truly great craftsmanship that uh, she brought and taught our, our business. You know, when we look about our, this year and someone asked me what, what's been one of the number one areas of success for, for cuts. Um, I would say from a product standpoint, definitely our joggers, our joggers became a, a huge replenishment business for us and just a staple for us and uh, really embody the cuts lifestyle of always on the go, but yet they look professional. So that's 
been a huge success for us and we look to continue to do through the next few years. A lot of people may have not known this or seen this, but we uh, piloted our first national TV advertisement. And a lot of the guys in this room, Liam and Brennan, uh, had a huge impact in that. And our goal with TV was to really, you know, expand our reach. Like myself, I don't spend a lot of time on social. I'm on podcasts and I love Sports Center. So we got to figure out a way to reach those customers. I think TV was just a great example of how uh, resilient and how creative our team is. You know, we got pitched uh, by a TV ad advertising agency that said, hey, it's gonna cost you 3 million bucks to do, you know, all these TV spots, these 15 spots that we wanted to do. And we said, nope, we're gonna do it all internal. One of our guiding principles is bias towards action, seeing the result of how successful they were for us. Uh, really, you know, made me one happy for the people we brought on early days, but also excited for the future of that being a, a big part of our, our story moving forward. Uh, the first time I saw the ad was I was golfing and I was in waiting to play golf, eating lunch. And I see our ad come up on the NFL network. And I'm, I was there with my uncle at the time. And I go, look, th there's cuts. And I think uh, all those little moments in time when you create a brand are so cool in business. Uh, I feel the I feel CEOs are the most fortunate people because they get to learn so much. You know, this year I felt like the one big skill set that we brought on was really great product people that could just take us to the next frontier. And uh, whether it was with bomber jackets or joggers, just seeing them work has really inspired me and got me excited for 22, 2022. In 2022, we're gonna have amazing Friday projects that you guys are just gonna absolutely love. We're gonna have some amazing new products that my product team has said, Stephen, you better not say it on the year-end video, so you just have to watch out for those. Um, and some other really cool items that I'm super excited about. Um, making great products is so important to me. It's the most important thing. I always say that if if you couldn't be proud to tell your friend, look what Cuts made, we, we gotta stop and we gotta, we gotta make it better. And our product team has really embodied that philosophy of being super proud to tell someone about it because we want our audience to tell the, their friends about the great products that we have. All I can say is this next summer is gonna be really fun for everyone that loves cuts. You guys are gonna love it. And I think one of the things about uh, being a founder that gets often lost is that, uh, you know, it's my job to inspire the team. And although that's part of it, I think the, the, the people that do the most inspiring are the, are the people that work at Cuts that, that allow me to work so work so hard. They, you know, they come to work every day. They're behind the camera, they're behind the numbers, they're they're working hard to make sure products are on time and all of that. And it's just really inspired me to to dream big and think how big can cuts get? We want to do that because how cool would it be to have a big building with with the letters cuts and be all over the world, stores all over the world. Like that pridefulness and that uh uh, vision is something that we come to work for every day. And so I just want everyone to know that's why we that's why we're coming to work every day. That's why we're working just so you guys have the best products. We become the biggest brand in the world and that we uh, do it differently than it's ever been done before. And uh, that's what you guys are a part of. And that's why you guys buy cuts. So thank you. Appreciate all your support. And let's continue to kill it these next few years. We did our first event ever this year. It was our legacy bomber event in uh, Brooklyn, New York, which was another highlight of, of, of the year. You know, uh, we see a lot of people in the office work so hard and then getting a chance to take a small crew to New York and really just have fun and do it with some really cool people. Devin Levike is one of our big uh, ambassadors and teaming up with him and his friends was so fun. Uh, and we went to New York you know, got a bunch of our creators and influencers at the one hotel in Brooklyn. And we just had a, a dinner and we gave everyone a bomber jacket to unveil the new product, which was my personal uh, favorite product of this year. Uh, one of the guys there gave a, uh, uh, had a cheers that said big sips. He kept saying big sips, big sips. And it became one of my favorite mantras going forward where if you're in life, if you're going to do something, let's take big sips, let's go for it. And so, um, you know, I stole that mantra and I told them long term, I don't know when, but we're going to put big sips somewhere in our outerwear in the future as a hidden tag. So be watching out for that. And we're, we plan on doing some much bigger events next year, which I'm super pumped for. And 
um, you know, whether it's uh, in New York or Vegas or Seattle, we have a lot of events coming and that you guys should be super, super pumped on. When I think about this year, some of the new initiatives that got me excited was our year, our weekly vlogs. We brought on Josh, who's behind the camera now, who absolutely crushes it. And uh, we has launched a weekly vlog. And I think the, the vlogs have been really fun for me in, in two ways. One, uh, just getting to see, you know, I'm not in every meeting, getting to see what actually happened in the office and see how hard people work. Um, from my uh, viewpoint, it's just, just special for me. From an external perspective, I, th I see it being even more cool just to be transparent with our, our fans and our, our customers. You know, in 2022 and forward, I think transparency is super important. Whether if, we, if a shipment gets lost, being transparent right out of the gate that it's lost, or, you know, getting to see the cooks in the kitchen and, and see us, see the passion that we, 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 we come to work with every day. We want you guys to be a part of that journey. And so the vlogs are, are, are a way to just connect on a deeper level with uh, the people that really want to see what's going on and, 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 and uh, something I'm super grateful that we did this year. Our next big photo video initiative is our podcast. As you can see, this little mic here. Uh, that we're trying to keep out of frame, but I kind of wanted to, sh to show it. In extension to our Always On next year, which is gonna be the video form, we're launching a For the Sport of Business podcast that will come out next year. Uh, we're fortunate to work with some of the biggest and brightest names in uh, the NBA, the NFL, um, in you know USA Soccer, some cool ambassadors as well, some just really cool, impactful people that we can't always go to and do a photo video, but we can often do a podcast. And I think this podcast, we're really excited about getting takes from really successful people in their field and applying it towards business um, and getting their uh, take on some current events and news. Take a look for that, that's coming out uh, sometime uh, late January, early February. I think the last thing I wanna say is just a massive thank you to our community. This year was, so incredible the adoption of new products all the dms the support you telling your friends about cuts you know our, our business was bootstrapped since day one and all the word of mouth and telling your friends and feeling and being a part of our community has allowed us to grow our business and create more products it's really a flywheel where we wouldn't be able to continue pushing the business forward unless it was for you guys uh you know t sharing the word about cuts and i think it's so cool the community that we've developed and the, the work that you guys have done. And as part of that, I just wanna, again, say a huge thank you. You guys mean everything to us and we, would, we wouldn't be where we are today without you.